we can we have colonies of those that get up to 10 20 million in one cave and that opens the discussion for why bats are the most endangered animals on, are among the most endangered animals on our planet but if we have 1.5 million of them living under congress how do we how do we say that they're endangered well they're extremely vulnerable uh, uh first of all they're among the least known, most feared, most often needlessly persecuted animals. Secondly, they have very slow reproductive rates. They are programmed to live up to 40 years or more. And that brings up another interesting aspect. Instead of trying to find ways to fear bats, we ought to be finding ways to understand better why they can do the crazy, the really neat things that they can do. Mm. They can s survive up to 40 years in the wild, and that's the equivalent of a human living to be 100 and still able to run sprints through obstacle courses. They're also largely immune to things like arthritis and cancer. Mm. But they're very vulnerable because they're, they're dependent on long lifespans and slow reproduction. Most bats produce only one pup per year. They aggregate in these huge concentrations. You can get millions in a single cave. And here in the New World, I have personally investigated cases where somebody set, you know, just put old car tires in a cave entrance, poured kerosene on it, lit it on fire, and killed millions in single mm. incidents. They, because bats form the largest, most conspicuous colonies, are the most easily seen and also misunderstood. Uh, and have slow reproduction, they're prime targets for bad things to happen in terms and, of survival. And what is the common reason why people are killing bats? Like what, why someone would go out of their way to do something like that, like light tires on fire to kill them? Fear. Fear, misconceptions. Right. Yeah. Nobody who fully understood bats would be out there killing them. And when they're lighting these fires, is just the smoke that's killing the bats? Yeah, toxic smoke a lot. 